This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hi all, uh, myself Ravinder. Uh, I'm starting Azure SQLDBA training on 28th of January 2023. Uh, this course is, uh, duration of this course is 35 days and the timings are 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Monday to Saturday, six days in a week. This course is designed for all ARM-TRIM SQLDBAs to upskill their uh, you know, technical level to Azure side because Azure is nowadays highly widely implemented uh, cloud technology for SQL. And this course objective is to, you know, to give you complete knowledge about administration of Azure SQL database in real time environment. After taking this course, you will be definitely confident to work, you know, in the real time environment and you can able to handle the projects and troubleshoot live environment independently. And this uh, course is divided into 10 modules, in fact. So the first module talks about uh, Azure, what is the need of you know cloud technologies, why we need to adapt to Azure Cloud as a SQL DBA, and how do we create a free account, how do you manage uh, billing at lower cost though we uh, practice the entire month. Implementing Azure Virtual Machine, this is one of the, one of the important modules for us. Uh, what are the VM standards we need to maintain for SQL DB, SQL's uh, product to work better on the Azure VMs? And what are the cost uh, optimizations we can do on the Azure VMs by looking at the metrics, scaling up and scaling down, and creating the Azure VM templates to build the SQL server automatically when the VMs are created and taking the disk snapshot, extending the disk, adding the disk, and how do we do all the operations uh, we will get to know in this module, and implementing and uh, managing the Azure networking. We don't manage the Azure networking, but we need to understand how the VMs communicate, how the pass SQL server communicate within the Azure networking module, uh, within the Azure, Azure networking. We need to know all of that. And uh, after that, we're going to discuss about storage. Uh, we do have different types of storages, and we're going to majorly focus on the blob storage. How do we take the on-prem SQL backups into Azure storage? How do we clean up the backups? And how do we you know, take the Azure VM SQL backups into Azure storage, uh, blob storage? How do we use Azure Vault to take the backups automatically and automatic restores? And uh, we will discuss a lot about uh, DR strategies with the uh, story account implementation in fact. Then the major module, what we're going to cover is all about eighth module planning and implementing Azure SQL database. It talks about everything, every uh, activity that we do on the on-prem, we do the similar activities in the Azure also. Uh, we should know what are the standards we need to follow to create the SQL database and what are the cost optimization models we have, what are the best security compliances we need to follow, and uh, what are the performance inbuilt performance tuning models we do have, what kind of data recovery models uh, we have in the cloud, and what are the migration strategies we have. We, have, we do have many migration strategies to migrate from on-prem to cloud. That is a, one of the major discussion we're going to have in our class. And uh, after that, we're going to cover how do we integrate Azure Active Directory with the uh, Azure SQL servers in terms of you know VMs, in terms of Pass SQL server. Pass SQL server only it integrates the Azure Active Directory only. It does not integrate with on-prem. And how do we integrate, how do we migrate on-prem Active Directory to cloud, and how do we map the cloud identity to SQL Server, we're going to discuss in detail there. And uh, after, at the end, we go to talk about automations. We go, we're going to cover five different types of automations, on-prem SQL agent automation, logic app automation, and we're going to cover PowerShell automation. We're going to go cover uh, elastic agent job automations. Uh, we do have uh, five different types of automation I'm going to cover in detail about it. So anyone looking uh, to learn Azure SQL DBA, and this is the best content I'm covering here. Uh, it's not just, uh, you know, SQL I'm covering. I'm covering infrastructure also because uh, SQL runs on top of the Azure platform. So we need to understand the platform also, how to make SQL work better uh, with all the statistics. We're going to discuss uh, all the platform then We'll talk about the pass environment, then we'll talk about the migration strategies, then we'll talk about the automations, what kind of automations we can do on the Azure platform. 
uh, this course is starting on 28th of January, which is of two days ahead. Please contact me on this number or watch of me for better response. If I'm not responding, if I miss your call, uh, please watch of me on this number. I'm also starting MongoDB or DBA classes on 28th itself. Uh, the, the course duration is 35 days and timings are 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday to Saturday. This is also six days in a week. Um, anyone can learn this course. There is no prerequisite uh, for this one. For Azure especially, we need to be, uh, you know, we should we should know the on-prem SQLDB to learn, but uh, Mongo, we don't have to have any prerequisite. I'll cover right from the scratch to advanced level. And I'll cover Linux basics also, as most of the people uh, are working on, you know, like non-Linux flavors, and they wanted to learn Mongo. So when they wanted to learn Mongo, uh, they need to know the Unix uh, basics, basically. So I'm going to spend good time on the basics. The once you get familiarized with the Unix basics, then I'll start the product. So it is. Uh, I do have a lot of experience on the Mongo. I'm going to cover right from the basics to advanced level you don't have to worry about uh, uh, about you know like a technical stuff i'm going to cover end to end what we need to know as a dba to manage things so i divided mongo also into 10 modules um, you know like uh, to cover up right from the basics to advanced level so first i'll cover the unix basics then i'll start the product uh, installations and then all the advanced configurations that we do have in the mongo uh, please contact me on this number for this course. Uh, we do have only two days to start the classes. Uh, so the seats will be served first come serve, first serve basis. Thanks.